Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So today we are going to be doing a haul slash review slash kind of an expectations versus reality on a store called Rihoa's, I believe is how you pronounce it. I kind of want to start this as like a new series on my channel where we do like an expectations versus reality of different stores. So if you have any other suggestions, please feel free to comment them down below and maybe I will choose that store and we'll do a video on it. But yeah, like I said, today we are doing Rihoa's. I see this store everywhere on Instagram. I'm super curious about it, so I was like, you know what? Let's order some stuff and see what it's actually like. First off, I just want to say I love the layout of their website. It's very easy to shop on, easy to navigate, just super easy to use, so I love that. And shipping wise, you guys, it was actually pretty fast. I believe it came in about a week and a half, so that's pretty good because I do live in Canada. But anyways, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. So this is the only thing that's not actually clothing, and it is a purse. I cannot get over the quality of this purse, you guys. I was not expecting it to be this good. Like it's, I don't know if this is real leather or not, but honestly, it feels like it. And if not, it's a pretty good fake leather. And that is what the purse looks like up close there. It's just so pretty. I just wanted like a very simple and plain shoulder bag. And I feel like this is so perfect. I just, I love it. The zipper works great on it. There's also like quite a bit of room in there as well, just for like a tiny shoulder bag. There's quite a bit of room in there, so that's awesome. It also does have a couple different compartments in there as well. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm super, super impressed with this. This was actually the first thing that I opened up when I got my package, and I was like, if everything else is as good as this, this is gonna be great because this is like legit a 10 out of 10. So I'm not gonna go in any kind of order. I'm just gonna pick what I see and go with that. So the next thing we have here is a striped little long sleeve and it does have buttons on the front there. I don't know why. I know a lot of people aren't into stripes, but I really like them. And I just think this shirt is so cute. It's very basic and simple, but I feel like you could style this a bunch of different ways. And that's what it looks like up close there. So as you guys can see, it is ribbed. And these buttons do work. So if you want to completely unbutton it, you definitely can. This also, again, feels really good quality. It's very stretchy, which I wasn't expecting. This just seems like it's going to be so comfortable on. Some of the clothes I have tried on very quickly. Some I haven't, and this is one that I haven't. So I went ahead and got this in a size small. And to me, like, like just looking at it right now it does look like it's a little bit bigger than your average small like to me I would say this is probably a little bit closer to a medium if anything but I like I said I think this is gonna be super comfortable on love the material love the fabric and I can't wait to try this on okay this next item here I saw it on the website and I was immediately like I need that it's not something that I would like typically go for but I don't know, I really like it. I think it's super cute. And I think it's just really different and fun. So this is what it looks like right here. It is a dress and it has all these like little flowers on it. It's so cute. It kind of gives me like retro vibes. And then it does have this like ruffled part here at the waist. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But I just think it's so adorable. I had to get it. Again, this is extremely stretchy. Like it has a quite a bit of stretch in it. And it's also a really thick material. It's not your typical like dress material. It almost feels more like a, thin sweater if anything if that makes sense so far i'm really impressed you guys i know i've only shown like two pieces of clothing but everything just seems so well made and it feels like it's made to last you know what i mean i feel like with some clothing like you can kind of look at it and right away be like oh yeah that's kind of cheaply made but definitely not that with this okay so this next item here i've actually tried on i just couldn't wait and these are so good so they're just a basic pair of pants they're like a nice dark brown kind of like a chocolate brown and they're just like a basic pair of trousers or dress pants or whatever you want to call them and what i like about these they have this like little stretchy part on the back here it's only in the back the front is you know completely normal but you get this stretchy waistband right on the back there and that makes it so comfortable i love these like these honestly might be my favorite thing in the entire haul i do not have a good pair of trousers i have a pair but they don't fit me anymore so when i saw these on the website i was like you know what i'm gonna get them try them out and see what they're like i wasn't expecting them to be as good as they are but i am so glad that they are honestly you guys i cannot say enough good things about these pants if you're looking for a good pair of trousers get these right here. They're so good. The quality is amazing. The fit is amazing. And they're comfy as well. They don't feel like your typical pair of like dress pants. These are so good. <laughs> All right, so next I just went ahead and picked up a little tank top. And as you guys can see, how cute is that? It has little flowers on the trim there. I cannot get over that. And it's in this really pretty dark blue color. I love that. I would say out of everything so far, this is definitely the thinnest. It is, again, that super stretchy material. But compared to like everything that I've shown so far, I would say quality-wise, 
This one's probably at the bottom right now. Not saying it's bad quality, it just doesn't compare to the rest. And one thing about this is that these straps have no stretch in them, so they might be a little bit loose on the shoulders, I don't know yet. I just wish the straps were the same material as a shirt, you know what I mean? I wish they had that stretch in them. And also the straps are not adjustable. That's one thing I do appreciate with clothing is when they do have adjustable straps, but this one does not. So I guess we'll have to see how this one fits. All right, this was so cute. I had to get it. So it may just look like a basic black tank top, but it has these gorgeous pearl straps. Look at that, you guys. How pretty is that? And the cut of it is different as well. It's not like your typical tank top. I think this is going to look so pretty on. Again, we have the super stretchy material and obviously the straps have no stretch in them because they are pearls. Obviously the straps were what drew me into this top, but they were also what I was nervous about as well. I figured, you know, they may be very easy to break or very cheaply made, but but so far you guys these seem good quality they don't seem like they're gonna snap at all but again the real test for that will definitely be when I try it on to wear it we'll have to see how that goes but overall I am so in love with this top and I just think it's the most adorable thing ever okay you guys know I love me a good cardigan it would not be a haul without some sort of cardigan or sweater so you know I had to pick one up. <laughs> so this is the one that I got right here. It's just like a basic white cardigan sweater kind of thing. But again, it does have some pearl details here and then it does have lace up the top as well. It's just really pretty and dainty. So the pearls that you see at the front here are actually kind of like the buttons for the cardigan and they do work. You can unbutton them, so that's great. And unlike all the other stuff that I've shown so far, this one actually does not have any stretch in it whatsoever. And I did go ahead again and get this in a size small. And again, I do think this is a little bit bigger than your typical small but yeah I feel like this is just such a cute little staple piece and I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun styling this as well I feel like you could wear it a few different ways and you know style it up or down wear it open or closed so yeah super cute all right and this is the last item right here that I picked up from at Rihuaz so again we have another little tank top but this one is a little bit different we have the thicker strap here we have this super cute little rose detail at the front there how adorable is that there's these cute ruffles here and then it is ribbed as well. I gotta say, I love the thicker strap on this. I think it's really pretty. Again, super stretchy. <laughs> this is honestly probably the softest thing so far. It just feels really nice and cozy. So I was looking to see what size I got this in and it just says F on the tag. So yeah, I'm not sure what size that is, but <laughs> I think I got this in a small though, or maybe, you know what? It could be one size. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see when I go back and check the website, but yeah, overall, again, really nice quality. It's super cute and basic, and I feel like this is just gonna look so nice with a pair of jeans. This is definitely like right up my alley. You guys know I love floral, so cannot wait to try this one on. All right, you guys, so that was everything in my Rihoa's haul slash review slash expectations versus reality. Overall, I am very, very pleased. I'm so happy with everything that I got. The quality is amazing. The prices are also pretty decent for the quality that you get as well. I feel like you may be paying a little bit more for some pieces, but I don't think like overall the prices are super expensive. I'm trying to think like pros and cons, but overall I really don't have any cons. Like I'm just really pleased with everything that I got and the whole shopping experience. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below and also let me know which item was your favorite. But anyways you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Like I previously said, if you want to see me do this with any other store, just go ahead and comment them down below. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to go ahead and keep up with me outside of YouTube, I do have TikTok and Instagram and I'll go ahead and link those down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!